Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Osso Arcade back again one more time with some more Sega Chihiro Type 1 stuff. I'm thinking Type 1, I got Outrun 2. It's not a Type 1 game. And you'd be right, because this is actually a Type 3 game. But, it's running happily on my Type 1 through netbooting. So, did I figure out my netboot problem? Well, not really, but I kind of figured a few things out about netbooting. This is actually the beta version of OutRun. I thought it might be fun to power this up and uh, try it. It's a little less complete. It's missing some cars, missing some music. And I thought there was an extra view mode that wasn't in the other one, but I couldn't find it. But it all works great, and uh, it's not crashing, it's not having any problems. I figured out my crash problem was because my laptop was on battery mode, and every time it went to sleep, it would crash the, the game and say the gateway was lost. So I turned this on with the, the AC cord, and I have the power settings set to not turn off. It, it, the screen goes dim, but it's basically still running in the background. It doesn't go to sleep otherwise. So how did I do all this? Well, quite simply, I used, uh, I've been using different keys. I got uh, a key here. Uh, this says number 253. I can't focus on it, sorry. But it says 253-5508-0372. This was from an OutRun to SP. And I got another key in there. That's from my OutRun 2, regular OutRun 2, that's on my, my Chihiro Type 3 that's in this cabinet. I've also tried using the House of the Dead 3 key, and it seems it doesn't matter. And the reason is, I finally, uh, I took apart the script for the Triforce tools. I don't know why I didn't bother looking at this earlier. But uh, in this script, it really spells it out for you. I just gotta open up and read it. And some of the comments in here make it quite obvious what's going on. If you scroll down here, uh, it says uh, for the function dim upload file, it says upload a file into dim memory and optionally encrypt it for the given key. Note that the re-encryption is obsolete by just setting a zero key, which is the magic to disable the decryption. So what that means in a nutshell, it doesn't matter what key you put in a Chihiro, as long as you have a some kind of key that the machine likes, you can load any game. So the zero key handling is all done by the Triforce tools. And this is years old. I don't know why it's taken me so much time to actually figure this out. It doesn't seem like anyone on the internet really knows what's going on. I'm sure there's some people who do, but it's just not been obvious. I haven't seen it posted in forums or anywhere. So there it is. You can put any key in a Chihiro and netboot off of a valid key. And as far as those network keys I bought, they just don't work. I can't get them to start up. They don't do anything but produce errors. So uh, I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I'll keep trying them, but uh, I thought I'd just do this video uh, to kind of set the record straight. I've kind of solve the mystery of why uh, the netbooting stuff wasn't working properly. So I was kind of uh, in the right in the beginning when I was booting with my House of the Dead key and why it was working. The only reason it was resetting was the stupid laptop was going to sleep. I, I can't believe I didn't notice that. But uh, now that it's plugged in and it's um, they set the power mode to not go asleep, I've been playing games. And I just had Crazy Taxi High Roller on here a few minutes ago and I was playing that and that was working great. So uh, let me just coin up and uh, let me try playing real quick before I cut off, just to show that there's no issues. And here I am. Okay. So look at, this is the beta version, kind of different. You got the F50, the 246, the 360, the 365, the Testarossa, and the Enzo. And that's it. You don't have some of the other cars. You don't have the F40. I'm going to do automatic since I'm holding a camera. And uh, the modes are all there, but there's there's no voice. They got some music that's not available. I'm going to do the good old passing breeze. Oh, whoops, it switched. Everything else pretty much seems the same. Uh, the game plays the same. 
I can't really tell any difference. I don't have the motor driver hooked up, so I don't know from that. But that's the other thing about the beta version, is it, it would boot the game without the motor driver hooked up. Um, when I hooked it up in the uh, Blast City upstairs, it was refusing to start without that motor driver board. It kept saying, not found. But it's working good now. Everything's the same about this game. I don't really see any difference. I've played this quite a bit. And it completely seems to be the same title uh, as the beta. Just missing a couple little things here and there. Yeah, it's hard to play with one hand. Whoops. Trying to look into the viewfinder and play. It's a little difficult. Yeah, OutRun 2 is a fantastic game. I mean, this is definitely the killer app for the whole two-hero platform. If you have this, or it's if it's uh, its little sequel, the OutRun 2 SP uh, Special Tours, that is the ultimate killer app, because it's essentially this game plus a whole heck of a lot more stages. Uh, you can change the colors on the cars. It has remixes, which bring back the old retro uh, uh, System 16 music from the original game. So that's the cool one to have. I don't have a disc for that. I have the keys for it. I have a couple keys. I got a bunch of units to play it on. I just don't have the original disc. So I'm hoping to netboot that. But I have not had any success yet with Type 3 netbooting. I thought it was going to be the same thing. and It basically gets to the same point as the, the Type 1 here, where it says waiting for network, but then you can never load a game on it. And that's the other thing that's kind of, I've discovered to be very temperamental about this uh, whole netbooting sequence, is it seems to be, sometimes you can load the game, no problem, and then after you, you're done loading the game, if you want to change it, it will freeze up and lock up when you try to load another game. And you kind of have to basically send a reset to the unit, power it off, and then completely go back in and try resending a game again. Sometimes it takes two or three tries but eventually it gets it and it hooks in and it does it. And I, I, you know, I found out also that the Naomi Loader program, the one that runs in the tray, is just using Triforce tools. I did not know that either. I, I actually did a little digging and it was very obvious to see, oh yeah, that's Triforce tools, but they just made it into a nice little tray app. So. And the Triforce tools is a very simple uh, Python script. There's nothing really to it. It's pretty obvious. I'd just be curious to why it hangs sometime. Maybe there's uh, some stuff going on. I just can't tell. But yeah, I'll run here. It's working really good. No problems. It hasn't crashed. I haven't had it crash since I changed my laptop to use the AC cord. It always has to have that laptop. It does checks periodically to go back and see if it's still alive or not. All right, well, this video is getting long enough to talk about a little topic, so I'll let you go. But, uh, yeah, there's the uh, solution to the problem. And uh, hopefully this will help some other people out there who want to get involved with uh, netbooting this system. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it, and I'll try to get back to you. So see you later.